Hey guys, welcome again to this video series on Jenkins tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a Jenkins build server on AWS EC2 instance, right? So throughout this tutorial, um, I had shown you how you can set up uh, your Jenkins on on your local machine like a Windows or a Mac or a Linux. But now we are going to set it set it up on a cloud instance, right? On a cloud server. So uh, as a general prerequisite, uh, you should have some basic knowledge of the AWS concepts because um, I'm not going to go deep into um, the general AWS concepts while we are creating this EC2 instance, right? And then um, if you want to follow along this video, you should have a AWS account, uh, at least a free tier account, right? Even if you don't have a paid account, you can create a free tier AWS account so that uh, you can follow along this video. Now, majorly uh, we'll be uh, doing these three steps, right? So first we'll be creating a new EC2 instance on the AWS cloud. Then we'll be connecting to that EC2 instance using an SSH agent, right? So if you are using Windows, it will be putty. And if you are using Linux or Mac, you can do it through your terminal itself. Then uh, the next step is setting up Jenkins, like uh, downloading, and setting it up on Gen uh, on EC2 server, right? So we'll start the Jenkins as a service on the EC2 server. So those are the steps we are going to perform. Uh, without wasting any time, uh, let's jump onto our AWS account, right? So, so this is my um, AWS account, right? Uh, I'm logged into a IAM user, right? So this is my IAM user and my password. This is my account ID. So I'm going to sign in into the console. So by default, um, it is already selected a region, but you can change uh, the region based based on uh, wherever you are, right? Then um, you, you can go to services and go to EC2, right? because we are going to create a EC2 server, it will be showing us a dashboard here, right? So currently there are no running instances, so it is showing as zero. I'm going to launch a new instance here, right? So there are um, five to six steps uh, before you can launch an EC2 instance, right? So the first step is choosing an Amazon machine image, right? So this is a kind of template which contains the software configuration like operating system, um, server and applications required to launch your instance. So this is a kind of template. Now I will select free tire only. Uh, throughout this video, I'll be using all the free tire resources, right? Um, so you can choose basically any server, but for this video, I'll be choosing uh, Amazon Linux, Amazon Linux AMI, right? So this one, uh, the most basic one and it's free tire eligible also, right? So once you select that, it is asking for an instance type, right? So there are lots of instance types and uh, they have got different uh, characteristics, like some have got high memory, some have got very high uh, network performance, some have got uh, good um, storage, and some have got multiple CPUs, right? Uh, but we will be selecting this T2 micro, which is a free tire eligible and is the most basic one, right? One CPU and one GB memory. Right, so next going to the configure instance details. Now here you can change some of your um, instance details like you can add a network, subnet, um, you can create a public IP, um, you can give it a IAM role, right? You can define the shutdown behavior or you can run a predefined script before your uh, system or your server gets started. But, um, I don't need to change anything. I will go with the default here, right? So next going to storage. Um, so free tire, it gives you 30 GB of uh, EBS general purpose SSD, right? So there are different volume types, but we are going with the general purpose. Uh, I'm going to increase the size of this server to 16 GB, right? From 8 GB, that's the only change. Then, um, there's something called uh, tags, right? It's 
it's something a key value pair where you can give it a name or some value through which you can easily identify this instance right so let's give it a name and we will call it ec2 demo server right then go to configure security group uh, you can create a new security group or you can select an existing one i'm going to create one new one for this demo so sg demo and we are going to add some rules here right so the first tool is ssh now if you want to ssh into the um, particular server you need to provide this rule right so that it allows a ssh um, it allows a ssh um, access to your server right so i'm giving you my ip so that it will only allow access from my server okay now custom tcp protocol we need to give here 8080 right because our jenkins will be uh, in, uh, will be launched on this particular port right so we need access to this port so here again i will give it my ip and then one last one which is http so general uh, access to the internet right to download any uh, packages or um, or other things we need access to the internet that's why i'm giving a uh, adding a http rule so that it is open to the internet right it can connect to the internet so these are the three rules we need to add in the security group then go to review and launch review all your details and click on launch right now once you click on launch it's going to ask you for a key pair um, private key pair right so key file so this is required as a um, authentication authentication mechanism right you need to define a key here so let's go ahead and create a new pair um, i will name it aws ec2 demo key right now make sure you download this key pair because once you close this window uh, this won't be available anywhere else right so download and keep it in a safe place and then uh, using this i'm going to launch the instance right so it's going to launch uh, this ec2 instance which we have created and then um, I'll give it some time to uh, start running and also it will do some initial checks right so until that I will pause the video for a few minutes so uh, the initial checks have completed and the server has started running right so few things to check um, you can check the private and public IPs right the DNS and IP which will be using to access this server um, then all the other things like the security group uh, platform details which we have selected so you can just look over them right the status checks uh, the default ones which have already run we don't have any monitoring we have the tag name as this right so these are some of the initial things we can which you can check after your uh, server starts running so once this is running now we need to ssh into this server right to um, install the jenkins for that if you're working on a windows machine right you can um so we had actually downloaded uh, the key the ec2 key in pm format but in order to launch an um, or to in order to do ssh into a server you need a private key file which is a ppk file right so you need to convert this pm file into ppk file first so for that you can use uh, something called putty Keygen, right? So when you install Putty, right? Um, another application comes with it, which is called the Puttygen. Now Puttygen, it uh, you can convert these PEM into PPK file, right? So let's load this file. Um, we'll go to downloads, and here it will not show because it is selected PPK. You can mark it all files and this is our file right so open it click ok um, verify these parameters if type of key is rsa and number of bits is two two zero four eight 
and then we need to save this private key right so save it somewhere i will save it in aws so i should i should call it ec2 demo server right and it the file type is dot ppk so we will save it here and that's it right so the next thing you need to launch putty so that you can ssh into your server right so here we need to uh, pass the host name which is nothing but the public dns or ip right so copy this and go to your putty here you need to use the username as ec2 user it's the default user for any ec2 server right so you can pass the ip address here right and then um, we need to use our private key so go into ssh go into auth and in private key file for authentication right browse your ppk file so this is our ppk file now once you do that right click on open it will ask you the security alert just click on yes and then you will see it successfully um, authenticated the private key and we were able to ssh into a ec2 server right so this is our ip and this is our ec2 server so um, now we need to install some packages or update the packages in this ec2 server so run this command sudo yum update right click on yes and it will update all your packages basically now there are a few other steps you need to perform which i have noted down here so first step is to update all the software packages then you need to um, add this jenkins repo right so it's the url from where it will download this jenkins repo so let's execute this command here so it's done right now the next is uh, to import a key file so that to enable the installation from the package so we need to we need this key also so just import it and then um, you should install jenkins right so execute this command sudo yum install jenkins why so it will download this package it is going to take a little bit uh, of time so i'll just pause the video for a few seconds okay so it has downloaded and installed the jenkins version on this ec2 server now um, there is another step where we need to update this java version right so if it's already updated you don't need to but if you check the java version in this ec2 server you can see it's on an older version right so jenkins is going to complain so before that what we'll do we will um, we'll update the package right so let's install the 1.8 version of java and then um, what we need to do is we need to switch uh, to the latest java version because what will happen is uh, now there will be two versions of java the older version is 1.7 and the new version which we have installed which is 1.8 so there will be two versions present on this ec2 server right so you need to um, use this command to switch over to the latest one so once you do this you will see it is showing you a selection right so the first one is 1.7 which is the current one and if you want to change to 1.8 just enter two here so that's the selection and we can also verify the java version which is 1.8 right so once your java is updated you can start jenkins as a service here so sudo service jenkins start and it will show you this message just starting jenkins okay right so once you get this message that means your jenkins has started as a service on this ec2 server right now launch any browser right and copy this ip address and we need to pass on the port number which is 8080 to access our jenkins server running on ec2 right so just so 
so you will see um, the Jenkins setup coming up here on this EC2 server, right? So this is not localhost, uh, it's running on a server. So that's how you install your Jenkins on a cloud server. Now, if you want to get this password, right? So just sudo and cat, cat this particular file. So you will get the password. So run this command and this is our initial password. So copy this and paste it here. Continue. So this is going to um, go with the initial setup, right? It's similar to how you do it on your Windows or Linux machine. So install suggested plugins. Right, so let it install the plugins and then we'll choose a user and then we'll see the Jenkins is launched, right? Okay, so the plugins, default plugins, plugins got installed. Now it's asking to create a new admin user. So let's create it and So uh, click save and continue to create this user. And this is our Jenkins URL, right? So the server IP and then the port 8080. So click on save and finish and Jenkins is ready. Your Jenkins setup is complete. Start using Jenkins, right? So now the Jenkins has started running on the EC2 server. Right. So this is how you can um, start with uh, creating a EC2 server and then uh, download and install Jenkins, right? I'm going to pass over uh, these commands. Um, you can uh, see it in the video description. I will give all these commands so that you can also execute at your end, right? So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this was useful. And if you have any comments or feedback, please uh, pass it on to me and I will surely get back to you, right? As a last tip, uh, if you want to watch similar interesting videos on different automation topics, right? So please uh, hit the subscribe button or for our channel QA script. And whenever I upload any new video, um, you will get a notification on the bell icon, right? So thanks everyone for joining and see you uh, in the next videos.